you know, sometimes in the week you kind of feel like a plastic bag just drifting through the wind. Other times you feel like just doing absolutely nothing and checking out what's on streaming. This is one of those times where I decided to just check out something that people have not been talking greatly about, and that is the new Velma show on HBO Max. I am a big fan of Scooby-Doo. I really enjoy Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed, and I really enjoy the animated shows for a degree when I was little. Those were the only things that I watched on repeat multiple times. When I went to the library, I went to see if there were any Scooby-Doo movies, and there were a couple that I have enjoyed, and some that I kind of wish I enjoyed a little bit more. And with this show, they kind of took a really different and raunchy approach to these characters, and everybody is in the show except for Scooby. You have Minnie Kaling, who is voicing Velma, Glenn Howerton, who plays Fred, Constance Wu as Daphne, and Sam Richardson as Shaggy, also known as Norville. This is more of their high school adventures. This is Velma really not being in the best shape to solve mysteries. She doesn't want to do it anymore because of something that happened in the past. And I kind of appreciate that they're taking a little bit more of a raunchy approach because when you look at Scooby-Doo in its nature, it is heavily R-rated material. You have Shaggy and Scoop who are stoners. You have Daphne who is kind of very provocative. Fred who is the man whore and Velma who is the geeky girl who doesn't have that big of a sex appeal if you will. And when you look at the live action Scooby-Doo movies, take away the fact that they are a PG movie, you can actually see a little bit more of the undertones when it comes to the raunchiness disguised in a PG kids movie. And that is what took me a little while to get. The humor in those Scooby-Doo movies are very much adult centered, except it's just hidden within the PG metrics and this show is centered on Velma and the gangs who aren't really together except for Sh Velma and Shaggy or Norville. You have Daphne who's really not the biggest fan of Velma. She's the popular kid. Fred is still the man whore that everybody knows and loves. But what this show kind of fails on doing is is not only making it a fun adult adventure but kind of fails on being a raunchy film because I think it tries a little bit too hard in that aspect where it tries to go for that raunchy humor. And sometimes it has its moments. There are a couple of funny moments here and there but they're so far in between. But you also have characters that you really don't like even though you know all these characters. You know Fred, you know Daphne, you know Velma, you know Shaggy. And this show kind of makes the characters feel very unlikable. It makes it very unwatchable. This show is trying to go for what Harley Quinn went for and succeeded in so many aspects that this show is trying to follow in those footsteps. The show is uninspiring, it's boring, it's bland, and the humor does not hit. This is a show that you can easily just put in the background and you'll have some type of fun with it. For me, it was just one of those shows where it just feels like they're trying a little bit too hard with the raunchiness and trying to go for that little edge when you don't really have to. And I'm not really finding the appeal of this show. I just wanted to check out the first two episodes because I heard nothing but awful things about this show. And I don't think it's garbage as many people make it out to be. There are a couple of one-liners here and there that really are appealing and a little bit funny, but it misses the mark on so many things that this show almost becomes unwatchable and even though I'm not going to be checking this show out because I don't think I can stomach another eight episodes or seven episodes, it's just a show that you can put in the background and just ignore because there are a couple of things that it could have been but it just goes a little bit too far in the deep end that it just really misses all those things and it kind of makes it kind of unwatchable. But those are my thoughts on the first two episodes of Velma. Have you guys checked it out? Are you planning on checking the show out? If you have, go ahead and drop your thoughts if you enjoyed it or if you really did not like it to a strong degree. Go ahead and drop those thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on more. Click that bell notification so you get notified every single time that a video pops up. We'll catch you guys on the flip side.